Time now for the award-winning number one local talk show in Northeast Pennsylvania, The Sam LaSant Show. Now here's your host, Sam LaSant. All right, folks, set your calendar for March 8th. Set your calendar for March 8th. Great thing is happening in the Greater Hazelton area. It is going to be Miss Greater Hazelton Scholarship Program. No, it is not a beauty contest. This is Miss Greater Hazelton Scholarship Program. Great opportunity, uh, and we're going to learn a lot more about it today on the show. Uh, and once you hear what's happening, but something great is happening March 8th, beside me being there. I mean, that's the main purpose of coming <laughs> to me. The uh, I'm the highlight, okay. But Janine's going to tell you about a special guest that's going to be there, uh, and you're going to be excited about this, but I'll let her say that. Okay, uh, Sherry, how are you? Nice to see you on the show again. Nice to see you, too. Uh, and um, and Janine, always nice seeing you on the show. Twice in yeah, one year. Can I'm you believe you. this? And that's I'm telling you. I'm honored. That's it. You're done. <laughs> this is the last show. Miss Greater, uh, uh, Janine, you're the executive director, right? Miss Greater Hazelton Scholarship Program. Explain exactly what this is. It is basically that it's a scholarship program for young women who have an opportunity to show off their talents, show off their communication skills, their public speaking, their confidence, their community service on a platform to actually win scholarship money for college. So I said this is not a beauty contest because, again, some people, when you start talking pageants, it's all this beauty stuff, you know, it's, it's no, it's strictly, basically a scholarship program. Now, there, there are, this is broken down, correct, as yes. far as teens and um, miss. miss. Okay. What's the first part, the teen part? Well, the teen, there's ages that we're going to go through, um, and we have Miss and we have Teen. We have a pretty good participation level for both right now, correct, Sherry? Yes. Teens are age 12 to 17, and they're a junior in high school or younger, and the Miss participants are 17 to 24, senior in high school or okay, older. So explain to me, what, why should I have my daughter, uh, if she's a teenager, become involved with this, 13 or 17? Why should I send her to this? I think one of the best things about the program is being able to improve your communication skills, being able to get in front of an audience of people and overcome stage fright and improve your public speaking skills. Also, you, you get to improve your interviewing skills, which will play in the long run when it comes time for interviewing for jobs and interviewing to go to college for specific programs like pharmacy, nursing, or medical school. All right, so I, I, I mentioned this again about sometimes, again, parents, particularly mothers, are, are concerned about, you know, my daughter, you know, they have to be a certain height, a certain weight, a certain look, certain figure, etc. None of that applies here. No, this is not a Miss Universe or a Toddlers in Tears type pageant. Uh, winners for Miss America have been anywhere from four foot to five foot two, or to like, six feet tall. Actually, uh, Kristen Chenoweth, who was recently in the, in the area in Lancaster. She uh, was a former Miss State Capitol. She was second runner up at Miss Pennsylvania in 1992, and she's only four foot 11. Yeah. All right, I qualify. Uh, yeah, qual Not with the age <laughs> bracket. No, I, the other thing, yeah. too, is the Miss America organization, the whole entity is the largest base scholarship program in the United States. Uh, we had to go through very, uh, very rigorous uh, program and structure to even have a Miss America program here in the greater Hazleton area. So this isn't something they take lightly. This is something that is scrutinized, the process that we, me and Sherry had to actually go through and follow the Miss America organization's um, qualifications, structure, program, getting all of our board members together. It follows under, uh, you know, obviously the standards are high and we had to abide by their rules. Well, uh, the standard speaker is partnering yes. with SSP TV, and we're, we're very happy, our media partners. Well, through the articles and through the information that we've had here, what has been the success so far? Uh, because March 8th is coming around the corner here. Uh, what has been the success so far? And also, another thing that I think that the public should know is the support that you've been getting from the community, which I think is fabulous. We're going to hear about that from the business community because we, Sherry and I wanted to have <coughs> a lot of our board members on so you can meet the people that have volunteered their time for okay. the past several months. But we've had tremendous success. We've had great support from the community, which I'm not surprised. Um, they're really behind us with if we're asking for food or donations or their time or a venue. We just have had a great response. We're up to $6,000, which was our first goal of reaching monetary-wise from sponsors. All that money is going back to the scholarships that we're giving out 
to Miss and Teen, the two major crowns, and also we're giving out some awards um, to the other contestants that are partaking in the program. Okay, so if I want some more information, watching the show right now, instead of calling, we're going to put a phone number up there. Where should they go to get more information? Yeah, we're definitely on social media. We have it's Miss Greater Hazelton on Facebook. We have the Miss Greater Hazelton .com where you can read all about the Miss America organization, all about the Miss Greater Hazelton program. Sherry did a great job setting up the website where you can just download the registration form and get all of your stuff to us. You can see how it's broken down into categories on fitness and uh, your public speaking skills, your community service. So everything is there in black and white for them to read up on. I think it's a great opportunity for, you know, for young people to get involved with because, you know, in the communication skills, and that's what it's all about, you need to communicate today. Uh, but so I, again, there's always that concern about pageants and some. I don't want people to get the wrong idea here. You know that it's, this is not a beauty pageant. I can't say it enough because the first time when, we, when I mentioned this that we're, you know, I'm going to be, uh, you know, one of the hosts there. Uh, oh, that's that only beauty. I said no, it's not a beauty pageant. It's it's a scholarship program, and like you said, Sherry, it'd be a great opportunity for anyone just to get involved with this. You know, so they don't have to be nervous about it or shy about it. Correct. Agree, and we'll be there all day to help the girls improve on, on whatever area they think they need help with with going on stage. We're there to help them improve both personally and um, professionally for the future. Okay, now, some great things were happening that day, yes. right? Besides, like I said, me being Besides there. Besides you and I being there. I mean, there I, and I know that, you hosting know. Hosting the event, <laughs> right, Sherry? But we, you know, you want to make this announcement or, or yes. you, you want to wait? Because We're so excited. Now, March 8th, folks, I told you, mark your calendar. This is going to be great. So, Janine, tell us what's happening on March 8th. Well, you know, we love to support anyone who's from the greater Hazleton area and watch their careers flourish and people reaching their goals and dreams. And we have confirmed that Keith London, okay, Keith London, he's on American Idol from the Greater Hazelton area. He is actually going to be with us the day of the show. So he is going to be performing. You know, this show is all about making a difference um, as, a, as to parallel to the program. My foundation is making a difference. That is the theme of the show, which Joelle, one of our board members, has done a great job setting that up with Reese. Um, and it's about making a change, making a difference, and he's going to be talking about how he made a difference and, you know, went against the odds and really sacrificed to make it on American Idol. We're going to talk about his journey, um, but it's going to be so exciting. So it's March 8th he's going to be in. We're flying him in here. We're sponsoring him to come in here, and he's going to be a big part of the show. You know, game voice lessons, don't you? I hope he doesn't ask me to sing with them. No, no, we know no. I, I, well, that, that won't happen. Voice. But you know, we gave him the voice lessons. You did. Of sure, sure, of course. Of course. I, I mean, I gave him the <laughs> voice lessons. He knows no, everything. You know, I've been watching him on American Idol. He's, he's doing very well, and it's a great representation. So I think that's fabulous. Like Keith London's going to be coming in uh, that day, and, and it'll be an interesting, uh, it'll be a, a fun day. Um, we come back, we're going to talk to uh, Tara Toolhill. She's on the board. It's interesting because I think from what Tara said, in all of the state uh, representatives, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, the only one that doesn't have a, a scholarship program is Tara's area, right? For, through the Miss America organization, she's the only representative in the state who wasn't represented and until now. Until now. Okay, so uh, stay with us, folks. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the Sam LaSanne Show, folks. Big things happening on March 8th. Mark your calendar. It's the Miss Greater Hazelton Scholarship Program. Notice they said scholarship program. Now, uh, the announcement that was made before, uh, Keith London from the American Idol uh, is going to be here, uh, and we're going to have a great day, but it's, it's going to be a fabulous event. Now, joining us is Tara Toohill, and she's, she's on, the, you're on the board, okay? We're yes. not talking about state politics today. We're talking about the board. Now, I mentioned, Tara, that of all the legislators in the state of Pennsylvania, yours is the only area district that did not, does not have a scholarship-based program. Correct. So when, when we're on the House floor, we have people come from all across the state. There would be the Dairy Queen, the Tomato Festival Queen, the Coal Queen comes from Pitt. There's Coal Queens in Pittsburgh. There's Coal Queens down in um, Schuylkill County. And I would look around and think, we used to have Junior Miss. We used to, that used to be such a great big thing that we had in our area. A lot of our mothers had competed in Junior Miss. And I thought, well, why can't why can't we have this? So I'm so glad Janine and Sherry, they've taken the initiative on this. And 
instead of being like, oh yeah, we don't have something. Instead, they went, went out and are getting it for this community. And it's gonna benefit all of those little girls that maybe wouldn't have gotten that training. Uh, and, and it's gonna help them get up in front of a microphone, get up and speak, uh, and it, it only can be a benefit. So I'm just going to be glad that someday soon we're gonna be able to recognize on the House floor, Miss Greater Hazelton Area. Now, you're all for um, educational-based programming, I mean, scholarship program, okay? And I mentioned before that some people think that, you know, when they think of pageants, it's always a beauty thing, okay? And we're trying to dispel that. That is not this, what this pageant's all about. It's about scholarships. And once again, Tara, why do you think it's important for teens and uh, uh, miss from, the teens are 13 to 17, and then from 17 to 24 uh, would be the miss, um, a scholarship, Miss Greater Hazelton. It's so important because you're giving a platform to these young women uh, that obviously we have the talent. We have no lack in uh, art and dance and educational talent in this area. But if you don't support uh, these young women, they're never going to get that microphone and they're never going to get that time to shine. So I think it's very important. They're going to learn skills and they're going to be able to promote and showcase the skills that they do have. Uh, so it, it's a win-win for all of us. Um, and once again, I just want to thank the private business community and Sherry and Janine for coming out and uh, making this happen. Because okay. for years, people have said, where did Junior Miss go? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. The JCs I, did Junior Miss. We I, don't have the JCs. I produced it and directed many times, okay. the, the Junior and, Miss. And actually, the last Junior Miss was held in 2004. And 10 years later, here we are bringing back a new program. Sherry, you were involved uh, with uh, pageant, right? Yes. Okay, and we, the f first show you talked about what it did for you, mm -hmm. all right? Um, what did it do for you? For me, uh, the scholarships I gained, it allowed me to pay for my boards for pharmacy school. It also allowed me to improve my interviewing skills, land my dream job that I'm in right now. And it also allowed me to uh, network with different uh, girls and professionals throughout the state. And I can tell you I've made some of my lifelong best friends through this program. Now, were you, all, were you always an extrovert or involved with people? or were you? Really... I've always been involved with people, but I wasn't always big with the, uh, being in the pageants. The first uh, program I, ap I actually participated in was uh, Outstanding Young Woman, which Junior Miss became back in 2005, and we didn't have a local in the area. Mm -hmm. Then in college, I competed out in central Pennsylvania because we didn't have a program here. Mm -hmm. So after aging out of the program, as they call it, I aged out grac graciously. Uh, You're I as old it, as Tara now. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was time to help bring a program to the area to give young women opportunities that I didn't have. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, about this pageant, March 8th, and, uh, and we're excited about um, Keith London coming uh, from American Idol. And uh, How do people get tickets uh, which, if they want to become involved? I know Janine mentioned the web website, but here again, it's not too late to, to get involved with this, correct? Oh, no, it's definitely not too late. Uh, we will be selling tickets at the door uh, the day of the event. The show starts at 6.30. We plan to open the doors to the auditorium at 5.30. And we hope to be selling tickets here at SSP TV uh, starting uh, later this month uh, with more details to follow. Okay. And, of course, the Stanish Speaker is our partner in this uh, event, the media partner, and we're very happy to have them on board. Um, this is going to be at the Hazleton High School mm -hmm. Auditorium, right? Yes. All right. Tara, um, your perspective, okay, uh, once again, when we look at this uh, again as to why should, uh, you know, parents or guardians... Once again, if you have a 13-year-old up to 17 to get involved with the teen part and, and, and the miss part. You know. It's so important. We talk about uh, the gang problems we have. We have problems in the high school with children getting hooked on drugs very early. Uh, and you do have to let your kid uh, express themselves. So perhaps um, my mother did junior miss and she painted a painting. And, and that's kind of a, a different what type year, of expression. What year did she, she do, did you miss? I guess 1967. So, and but that was something that back was one then. of the years I, I may have directed that that pack. Okay, well, that was her <laughs> art form back then. That, so, for the parents, I was seven years old though. Uh, okay, all right, yeah, I was seven years old. <laughs> Did they have I don't know if they had the TV there, or yeah, anything. Yeah. It, yeah, no, I, I, the, I was president of JC's, you okay. know, I was very honored to be outstanding young man of the year. But the point was, uh, and I saw when we, when we had the junior miss, and you're right, I saw these kids just get involved, and right. it was a beautiful thing for them, you know. 
Uh, and that's something, say your child is not going to play baseball in the Little League. Say your child, you can't afford to bring them to dance and gymnastics is very expensive. Well, there's vocals, there's other forms of art, there's all sorts of talents. So we're going to be tapping into these talents that these children have uh, and giving them a showcase for it. And I think it's, it's art, it's culture, it's something we have, it's buried deep under the snow and the coal in this region, uh, but we're going to bring it back out and it's, it can only be good for children. And they can come watch. I certainly won't be singing. Janine and I are not going to be singing oh, or doing anything do like solo. that. So Janine's going to do a solo. We'll clear that place out All real right. fast. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you that. Another great thing about this program too compared to what Junior Miss was, Junior Miss only allowed one age group. It was just juniors going into seniors in high right, school. Right. This is allowing more age groups to participate and become involved. Mm -hmm. uh, the partic uh, when, when the next guest coming on, Tamara and um, Katie, talking about the, you know, the community support and, and the, the Prince's Camp. But, uh, but these young people have an opportunity of networking and meeting other people. And I think that's the great part, you know, become, make new friends, you know, and just, it's, it's just a positive thing from A to Z. Wouldn't you agree, Tara? I agree. And, and maybe, maybe this year your kids will go and watch it and you could at least support the community and be there for them to say, hey, this is the first time they're going to be doing something. It takes a lot of guts yeah. to go up and, and perform or go up and um, put yourself out there. So at least you can support it. If you, if you can't be a part of it um, and your children are not going to participate, please, please support it because it's something good in this area uh, that we're bringing back. Hey, Tara, isn't it exciting to be a representative of this area now? Because look what you have. You have the downtown Hazleton Alliance, okay, uh, that are, are full of excitement about what's going to be happening in our downtown progress uh, with Krista Snyder, now as the executive yes, director that yes. I had her on the show, and, and uh, Neil D'Angelo. That, that is in itself such a refreshing thing. Lou Dreyfus and I were talking about that on Saturday where, you know, you, you see all this. We had this meeting. And uh, of everyone in the community was there with a lot of positive things. Right. Now we have this Miss uh, a Greater Hazelton Scholarship Program, another great fresh thing happening. Janine has her community show, which is, you know, doing success. So we're all trying to work and, and make things greater here. And I applaud everyone who's doing that. They're, they're all moving in such a good direction. Yes, it is. Um, you know, we have more <laughs> boots on the ground with the police. You went over that yeah. in one of your shows recently. Um, Things are getting so much better. The downtown revitalization project, it's beautiful. So you could be down on the downtown, um, but there's nobody that can look at Broad Street and look at the lighting and what the chamber's doing and, and think badly of it. People hate to admit it, but they're like, God, it looks beautiful. How about the lights at night? Do you see? Yes. Do you see how the lights are yes. up? And when people come into Hazleton now, that's what they see. They yeah. see something beautiful. Yep. They're going to put my picture up, you know, billboards. I don't know. <laughs> that has to go through a committee, I think, for approval of some sort. All right. Thanks, Tara. We <laughs> We're going to come back. Sherry's staying with us. But don't, it's March 8th, folks. Keith London will be there on March 8th from American Isle. You just want to come and see him. Uh, and uh, Janine and I are hosting, okay? So, so we come back. We're going to talk to Tamara and Katie about their part uh, in this particular scholarship program. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Sam LaSanne Show, folks. Remember, mark it down March 8th. The Miss Greater Hazleton Scholarship Program, not Beauty Program. And we're talking about that special guest that night, Keith uh, London, who is on American's Idol. Uh, he is going to be here March 8th at the Hazleton High School. Uh, and that's the night of the pageant. We're joined here now, of course, Sherry Hermanko is the Director of Operations. Now we're joined by Katie Moore. Uh, who is involved with the, uh, the Princess Camp, right? And Tamara Herzberger, right, uh, was um, a board member. Okay, let me start with you, um, um, uh, Katie. Okay. Tell me about the Princess Camp and what is, what's that all about? Uh, the Princess Camp is going to be happening the day of the pageant um, beforehand during the afternoon. It's for little girls between the ages of 5 and 12, and it's going to be a really, really fun day. They're going to do arts and crafts and work with some of the local um, princesses and teens from the area the misses and learn some skills and it's going to be a really exciting event. So, you, you know, you were, you know, your, your husband uh, who is an accountant, mm -hmm. you know, Denny Moore's son, uh, Denny, how's Denny still, Dennis Stone, is he behaving? Very well, yeah. yes. <laughs> and we, we thank him for being a sponsor. He's been, you know, you've been very good to the community. Thank Why you. did you get involved with this, Katie? 
I got involved because I'm a mom of triplets. I have three four-year-olds. Triplets? And, yes. And um, one of them is a little girl, um, my Olivia. And my hope for her is that she learns confidence and um, communication skills and poise from a very young age. Uh, Tara and I were joking earlier that our first experience with public speaking was in Mr. Rippa's class when we were in junior high school. And really, that's too late. It we got to get Tara out of her shell. Like the problem with Tara, she's too, you know, you got to get her out of her shell to talk a little bit more. Yeah. She's yelling um, at me because I did more talking than she did. Could you imagine? <laughs> she has all this. She could talk in the state house representative for all she wants, right? I, I understand, okay. yes. But it's good that, you know, so you, so you yes. feel this is a good thing for your daughter. And the most important thing is getting yes. involved. Yes, for, for all children, really. But it's so important. That's our future. Oh. That's that's the people who are going to be doing community events in the future. They're the us to come. So if we could teach little kids from an early age to become more confident and become leaders in their community and learn some skills for college and work going forward, I know I could learn some more confidence skills and I'm in my 30s. <laughs> so if we could teach that from a young age, we're happy. Did you know you were having triplets? Yes. You did. We yes, didn't know we were did. having twins. That no? was funny. The day, yeah, it was, I'm sure it was. That must be a lot of fun. <laughs> it is a lot of oh, fun. Oh, that's great. Yes. Tamara, how are you, Tamara? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. <laughs> now, first of all, I want to congratulate you. I, I know that you're, you, you know, you're involved and you've made an investment in downtown Hazleton, and we'll talk some play, maybe a little later on that, but that's a great opportunity for you. Why did you decide to come down to downtown Hazleton? I really just started the business. I wanted to do the business. I'm not originally from Hazleton. So I choose to be in Hazleton. I chose to open up a business in Hazleton, and I choose to just keep a positive attitude about the community. That's and right. it's That's important great. to me that I'm involved in just making the changes. So as a board member, you're on a board, correct? Yes. Okay, what, what is your involvement like in, with this, um, the scholarship program? I am involved in the marketing and the advertisement and stage design and pretty much we're kind of all working together in every area we need to be. How have you found the support? You said you're involved in the marketing. How, how have you found that support? And who are some of the, if you want to mention, some of the key people uh, that have been involved with this? Well, I've really haven't worked much on the sponsorship end of it. I'm well, more I into the... sponsorship is going fine, right, Jenny? Right, uh, and okay. they had an amazing response. Yeah. I'm working now on the advertising end of it for uh -huh. the program book. Okay. So that is... A, a huge part right now we're working on So that. if someone wants to get involved and at least be a sponsor of the, the program book, uh, um, could they call the number, your number? Or, or Facebook your, the, the, or call her Facebook. number. Facebook. Well, let me give you a number, folks, if you'd like to become involved. It's 570-956-0279. Uh, so, you know, you're working with the program book, and it's a good opportunity for to help the support. Remember, it's a scholarship program. Right. Okay. And that was a big part. I, I was never a pageant. It always made me very, very leery. I never really got into it. And having daughters myself, I just it was never anything I... What uh, like was attracted to? Now you have how many children? Eight. Eight, and any grandchildren? Seven. Seven. <laughs> Eight children, seven grandchildren. God bless you. Okay. Now, so any girls? Four girls. Okay. Would you have them become involved with something like this? The just from what I found out working with Sherry and Janine and it, the whole board, the program is amazing, and the opportunity for young girls. It's just I know having my daughters in college what it takes to put them in college and yeah. keep them in college. That's and great. this opportunity is amazing. It's nothing, nothing even close to what I thought it was. And I think it's a great opportunity. So, I mean, everybody has some kind of a talent. I, I just stress, get involved, get That's out terrific. there. Now, Sherry, you have board members, right? Okay, if, yes, you, if, you, if you can remember the names, okay? <laughs> without you, you know, who are, who are, who's on the board so the community knows the involvement we have here? Well, our board members are Janine LaSant, of course, myself, Reese Bethel, Joelle Whitner, Jennifer Aponic, Gina Major, Sam LaSant Jr., Tara Tuhill. Uh, we have Katie Moore, of course, Tamara Herzberger, and is there anybody that I'm missing, ladies? Bob Mahalik from the Hazelton Area School District. I mentioned resort. I think I rounded up everybody. So, well, you have a great, uh, impressive board there. I mean, uh, and, and everyone works, and everyone's working together. I can see Janine's really excited about it. Uh, and it's happening March 8th, folks, at the Hazelton High School. March 8th, Keith London's going to be there. Uh, is he going to perform, Janine? Keith? Yes, he's going to sing about three songs. See, oh, he's going to sing three songs. I'm singing five. 
And when we want the place to, we want everyone to leave, my daughter will sing Janine will do a song, and then you could all leave. Uh, but no, it's going to be a lot of fun, and it's March 8th. Get your, get your, uh, your, your, your child or your, your daughters involved, 13 to 17, uh, the teens, and Miss 17 to 24. Here's the number to get involved, 570-956-0279. Also put the website on, uh, Andy, and also Facebook them, right? Anything that I had forgot, Sherry. Okay. Oh, and our attorney oh. is Lori Ogurka. She's our other board member. Now, there's a person that's also involved in the community. She uh, uh, has a one foster child now, or, yeah, plus her own. Uh, there's a person that really got involved in the community, and it's all positive stuff. That's what I love about this. And I think it's important that the businesses around and support the program, but also the businesses support each other yeah. through it all. And that's what we're, we really have a strong... I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that, Tara. Okay, folks, remember March 8th. Mark it on your calendar. It's going to be a fun night. You're watching the Sam LaSanne Show anywhere, anytime, 24-7, SSPTV.com. My email, sam at SSPTV.com. We'll see you next time.